Welcome back to Terramind's how-to tutorial series. We have designed these short topic-specific videos to help Terramind users and administrators with quick tips, tricks, and guidance on new features and their use cases. Today we will cover the topic, how to monitor and limit clipboard operations. Feel free to write to us at hello at terramind.co with any suggestions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Let's take a look. Clipboard is a popular way to share data between applications. As such, it's a high-risk source of data exfiltration. Termine's clipboard monitoring and interception rule is a data loss prevention feature that allows you to protect sensitive data from being shared through the clipboard. Terramind allows you to create clipboard-based rules where you can specify conditions for the source of the copy operation, type of content, and paste destination. The source or destination can be a web page or application. You can also define what actions will be taken when these conditions are triggered. There are several scenarios where you may want to use a clipboard-based rule. For example, you don't want the user to be able to share customer data outside of your CRM site. You want to prevent social security numbers from being copied from an Excel spreadsheet and then pasted on an email client like Outlook. Or you want to prevent data defined as sensitive on your classified list to be pasted on an image application so that the user cannot later upload the data as an image in an attempt to bypass the upload rules. So let's show you how this works. In the first part of the demo, we will show you how to create a policy and a rule to prevent the user from copying customer data from a CRM site and pasting it on another site. Click the behavior menu located on the left panel of the dashboard. Select policies from the submenu. We will start by creating a new policy. Click the create new policy link near the top. Specify which users it will apply to. And then press the Create button. This will create a new policy and take you to the Edit Behavior Rule screen. The first tab of the Edit Behavior Rule screen is the General tab. Give this rule a name under the Rule Name and optionally provide a description. Select Content Sharing from the Rule category. For Type of Content, select Clipboard. Click on the Continue button to go to the next tab, User. The second tab, User, will let you specify who are affected by this rule. Note that the Inherit Policy Setting mode is enabled by default. This means that the user setting, Everyone, we defined when creating the policy in Step 4, is automatically inherited by this rule. You can change it to something else if you like. We will keep the apply rule to everyone. Click the continue button to go to the next tab, content. The content tab is where you define the content or data the rule will protect. You can add more than one definition. Pick clipboard origin from the pull down menu under select what makes this data sensitive. Select web page from the two options under it. Pick contains under the select match type and type the URL for the source of the clipboard copy event. We will use lightning.force.com for this example. This will ensure that content copied from a URL that contains these words will be checked for the rule violation. Click the Continue button to go to the next tab, Clipboard. The Clipboard tab will allow you to specify how the paste operation will be handled. Under Condition 1, click the small plus button and select the web page URL from the pop-up list. Next, we want to create a condition that will trigger this rule whenever a user tries to paste data on a web page, except for the ones under the CRM's URL. 
so we will need to create an exception based condition. Under accept, start typing lightning.force.com. As you start typing, you'll notice that the dashboard will suggest several options like contains, equals, and match regular expression. Select the first option. Click the continue button to go to the last tab, actions. The last step for defining the rule is the actions tab. Notice there are two tabs on the top of the screen, simple mode and advanced mode. For this exercise, we will select the simple mode tab. If you want to set options like the time period threshold or risk level, then you will need to use the advanced mode. Click block to enable this action and specify a message that will be shown to the user when the rule violation happens. Click the save and launch rule button at the bottom to both save and activate the rule. Now we will show you what happens when the rule is triggered. You can view all the rule violation alerts from the alert screen on the dashboard. To access it, click the behavior tab on the left, then click alerts. From the list, we can see there are two violations from the limit CRM data sharing rule. You can see who violated the rule and the date and time of the incident. You can click on the small video camera icon to see a recorded view of the user screen at the time of the incident. Let's try. This will launch the session player in history view mode. Here you can see exactly what the user was doing at 4.47 p.m. You can also click the notifications icon on the top right corner to see all the rule violation notices for the user during this time. It will also place markers on the video player's timeline at the exact times the violations happened. Clicking a marker will take the player's head to that spot. Let's pause the video player here and show you what you can see from the user's desktop of the violation incident. Here you can see the user logs into the CRM dashboard. The user then copies a customer phone number. Now the user is attempting to paste it in a search window. Due to the rule we created, the paste operation is now blocked and the user is shown the rule violation warning message. As you can see, it's quite easy to set up and deploy clipboard-based rules using Terramine's DLP to monitor and limit sensitive data sharing, ultimately preventing data exfiltration. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other tutorials on the Terramine YouTube channel.